Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we discuss why I chose the Xbox Series X over the PlayStation 5 for the release in November 2020. Before I discuss why, I think we need to know me as a gamer from the past until now. I like to think of it as an enlightenment in seeing where it all changed. Growing up, the system of choice was a Nintendo Entertainment System released in 1985. I begged my mom for this system to no avail. She said, just play it at your cousin's house. My cousins were so lucky they even had Rob the Robot. It was so cool until you realize he was so slow in pushing just one button. Out of the blue, one day, my mom came home with the Sega Master System. I was amazed as my brother figured out it also had a game already programmed inside without a cartridge called Snail Maze. We found out later it was on sale of course and losing big to Nintendo that the games were super cheap in 1987 to 1988 but boy did we have fun with the likes of Black Belt, Astro Warrior, Afterburner, Pro Wrestling and even Space Harrier. But later when it looked like more games and cooler games were on Nintendo my brother and I chose to split the cost and buy one instead of waiting for my mom to cave in, which she never did, and we got a Nintendo Entertainment System. Owning a Nintendo was completely awesome with my favorites like Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3, the Mega Man series, and Ninja Gaiden series. This was short-lived as my other cousin got his first system, being the Sega Genesis in 1989, where my mind was totally blown in the graphics and even the commercials that I still remember to this day. Where it goes, Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Wow, that was awesome. Especially in my EGM magazine, we brought to school in our fanboy wars between Sega and Nintendo. My brother and I eventually split the cost again and got a Sega Genesis that was really our system and still is a system I think of when I think about the 90s. I probably would never even think about the Super Nintendo as strong as a Sega fan I was until Capcom said yes, Street Fighter 2 is now coming to Nintendo's little super system. This was my turning point in really dropping my fanboy status. If it wasn't for Street Fighter 2, I wasn't able to play really good games like Final Fantasy 2 and 3, Zelda Link to the Past, and Super Castlevania. Don't get me wrong, to this day I still keep more games on a Sega Genesis, the Sega CD, and the Sega 32X than I have with the Super Nintendo as I still had overall much more fun. Then came the 32-bit era with Sega Saturn and the Sony PlayStation. This was the first time I had to wait for the price drop as both were way too out of my high school pay, which was just an allowance at the time. I eventually got the Saturn and had the time of my life with RPG games, fighting games, 2D action games, you name it. Then of course, the PlayStation got the one game Saturn did not have, Final Fantasy VII, which is a series I would never have played if it wasn't for Street Fighter II. Again, I got sucked in, but got to play many great games on that system and would never have experienced it without owning both systems and was a happy gamer in this period of time. The Nintendo 64 and GameCube didn't appeal to me as much as I was going towards more mature games at my age as I was getting older. A big problem with the big N corrected with the Wii U and Switch. When the Sega Dreamcast came out in 1999, I felt nothing could stop Sega until the PS2 killed my beloved brand forever. I hated Sony for killing off Sega in the hardware that I wouldn't buy another Sony console until of course I saw Final Fantasy X. I became a huge fan of Sony's PS2 until I got Microsoft's entry to the console race with the Xbox. Ninja Gaiden, Halo, Fantasy Star, Panzer Dragoon, Orda all brought the Sega fan back within me and all that high definition sound and graphics at 720p. The PlayStation 3 wasn't even a thought. The Xbox 360 all the way led the charge with Call of Duty, Mass Effect and so much more came to light. By far, my 360 collection is the largest physical games I own to date. 
I did eventually cave in and got a PS3, but only for the Blu-ray player alone, and owned just two games with Metal Gear Solid 4 and the Heavenly Sword, but traded in very quickly for a PS4 with a price so high on the Xbox One, I just couldn't do it. But I just couldn't get used to the controller playing on the 360 for 10 plus years. You get used to it. So I did the unthinkable. Even the GameStop worker was surprised when I traded in my PS4 for an Xbox One S and later on traded that in for an Xbox One X. And here we are today at once again another crossroads. This time I know what I missed on the PS4 but was very happy with the One X especially with backward compatibility. So my end decision was to get both and that I could probably find an adapter or third party to make a controller like the Xbox version. I was going to buy the PS5 digital since I'm not made out of money and traded in my Xbox One X for the Series X. I truly had the PS5 in my cart at Best Buy but pressed the checkout button forever to find out it was sold out and ended being sold out everywhere with their surprise release. I vowed that the Xbox Series X won't go down like that, so I camped out at 6.30 a.m. to find out most people camped out at 3 a.m. I was lucky as I went to the mall as they opened based on the mall times, so I waited three more hours to 11 a.m. and was third in line at a GameStop that only had four available to pre-order. So I want both and only came away with one. No fanboy service here, as I learned that embracing the games that are made especially for us makes me happy that there are the console wars so that the games are made better and better. Look at NFL Madden and NBA 2K series. Without any true competition, it's just a repeat of copy and paste games year after year. Just embrace gaming to enjoy great games no matter what system, and don't make up reasons why you need to hate the others just because you don't own them. Sit back and enjoy the great competition as gaming can only get better. If I never gave in, I would never know the wonders of Nintendo, Sony, or anybody else coming to the market. Look forward to my unboxing of the Xbox Series X and my thoughts as well as my eventual owning of the PS5 Digital. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg. Take us out of here.